Now, as much as I love my studio, there is something big missing. And no, it's not warmth, because that, that is missing. But no, there's something bigger missing. Big thing this place is missing is inspiration. It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. So today I'm heading to the hills and I'd like you to join me. Before we, um, we head off, I've had this little idea um, for something that will help me show you um, a bit about where we're off to today. Safety first, kids. Ready. If you watched a load of YouTube videos about painting, you'd think it was entirely about technique. But, um, you know, te technique is only half the deal. Without inspiration, art is just graphic design. For me, painting is an answer, and I can't really make an answer without first asking a question. And that is why I've got to get out of the studio regularly. But what a treat. I hope this isn't making you feel too seasick. It is a bit like a hazard perception video. Welcome to Saltersford. It is absolutely freezing. Oh, woo, I've got out of the wind. Take off a hat or two. Yeah, so this is Saltersford and I've been coming here for a couple of, well since April because it's just a really magical place. It feels like all the nourishment I need artistically is here. And it's so out of the way feeling. You can't, you know, we are only about 10 minutes from home. Um, and I think as the crow flies, 11 miles from the centre of Manchester. We'll keep yourself nourished. If I choke on an almond down here and cop it, this will be the last record. Earlier in the year, I got a real beer in my bonnet about painting big views and like the Holy Grail was how to paint a really big view. Um, and so this place was perfect for that. But, um, you know, as I've been getting more interested in this like slight abstraction in my paintings, um, it off also offers something else which is just so alluring which is this kind of play of the light on the water on, on the stream down here um, and this sort of fascinating colours you get not just from the flow of the, the, the water and the sun hitting it but also the different coloured stones in the different depths of the water um, and the way the autumn leaves complement the stones and then this sort of fantastic brushing of the rushes on the banks where the higher water has pulled them down um and yeah this is like this is what i'm after today it's absolutely it's absolutely golden down here the light is it's it's magical I've been um, very interested in a painter called Paul Nash um, as I develop my own painting and I think it's because he manages to sort of meld two things that are appearingly at odds. Um, on the one hand he manages to capture something like some sort of inner harmony to the landscape um, and 
kind of draw out something that we all feel from time to time but aren't aware of like something very very ancient and spiritual in the landscape um, but on the other hand I think he has this very deep uneasiness with and a kind of distrust with our human impact we can make on the land to kind of shape and destroy it yeah he says something absolutely terrific about stalking through the countryside he talks about this as hunting far afield over the wild country to get my living out of the land as much as my ancestors ever have done I mean what more do you want but you know I'm a kind of ancient hunter tracking the land uh, you know like sniffing the air taking the soil between my fingers feeling the wind It might just be me, but um, you know, derelict houses absolutely get me going. <laughs> Something about being able to project your own dreams onto them. If there was like a hot tub and a Range Rover parked outside, it would kind of be ruined. That's very Paul Nash, that. You know, sometimes inspiration just leaps out at me. Um, like this is a painting where I was quite simply walking down the road and I saw this light between the houses and I thought, I'll just pop my head down the ginnel. And there it was, like this beautiful array of light and geometry and, and contrasts. And that was it, easy peasy, five minutes from home. But by and large, in most, most of my paintings, it takes a lot of work to find something that really asks that question of like, how are you going to go about making this in paint? Inspiration is something that, you've, that I've really got to work at um, and that a huge part of the paintings that I like and I've enjoyed making are ones where I've worked to get that inspiration and I've not expected it just to kind of come through moving paint around on the palette. The magic is You've got to work for that magic, but it's well worth the work. So I think I might have found some inspiration today. Um, but either way, thank you for coming along with me uh, and exploring this lovely part of the world. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. So um, my landlord just saw me confecting this little beauty and has been talking all sorts of stuff about gimbals and other gadgetry like that so it's plunged me into a little bit of doubt about my device. However, I'm going to roll with it and we'll see how it works. <laughs>